Hey folks, it's Rob from Rob's Movie Collection. Uh, first of all, I have to apologize. The thumbnail was a bit of a clickbait. Uh, I just wanted people to kind of tune in here, and uh, maybe maybe by the end of the video you'll forgive me for that. Uh, this is not going to be a rant video. Uh, I've put out over 200 videos or more in the time that I've had this channel. Uh, most of them get between 30 to 50 views initially. If they do grow, it usually takes years. But recently I made a video about Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and, you know, how much I liked it and all. Last time I looked, it was at over 600 views in over three weeks' time. That's a lot for me. Uh, and I think it has to do with the divisive opinions of this movie. Most of the comments were decent enough and polite, even if they were the opposing comments to my opinion, and I appreciate that. And the few that were nasty, I, of course, immediately erased, as is my policy. While my intention was not to create controversy, but just state my opinion, I guess it took on a life of its own. But I don't want my channel to be about rant and controversy and negativity. I know it'll get more views and maybe even some growth, but I'm kind of trying to avoid getting too negative. Occasionally I'll go on some rants here and there, but I try to keep it at a minimum. Uh, the latest controversy in movies is, of course, the race swapping of The Little Mermaid in the new live-action movie. The movie has other issues, from what I understand, uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into either of those two topics, well, much. Instead, I think I'd like to present a more positive alternative. Some people have suggested that the objections have to do with not wanting to acknowledge the existence of black mermaids. Well, no. No one said that black mermaids don't exist in mythology, just that this particular mermaid is not black. So, to that end, I thought that rather than rant about that point, so many people have already done that, why not actually show, albeit in a very limited way, the original existing mermaids that are out there in different cultures? And that's the approach that I'd like to take to what will hopefully be a series of videos presenting original diverse characters that can be explored in stories rather than changing existing ones in what can be seen as a bit insulting and kind of tokenizing. So, let's start with African mythology. So these are only four of a huge variety of cultural mythologies that haven't really been explored much. 
Hans Christian Andersen was a Danish author who wrote novels, poems, and plays, among other things, but of course is best remembered for his fairy tales. In different adaptations, aspects of story and characters are always changed, but some things should not be changed, nor do they really need to be. Not when there is so much originality and variety in so many cultures around the world. For the studios, it's a money thing. Because in the end, it's called show business. And the only color that really matters is green. Why adapt a previously unknown property or create a new one when you can use an established one that's already been a success? Use the name that's already been a hit, bank on the name recognition and make tons of money, change the race, gender, etc., whatever, and enjoy all the free advertisement from the Twitter storm controversy. Genius! But creatively bankrupt and kind of lazy. Joseph Campbell wrote about the hero with a thousand faces. Every culture on earth has heroes with similar qualities and paths that go down the same heroic journey. The clay is out there. They have only to sculpt it. I don't want to go into a rant here. So if you've gotten this far, then you've probably, hopefully, forgiven me for my thumbnail fib. Uh, hopefully the next videos in this series will just show some different characters and mythologies. Uh, thanks for your patience, and hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.